This is Michael Wilson. This week, Robert F. Kennedy Jr., a presidential candidate, came out aghast with House um, members in saying this is an attempt to censor a censorship hearing. And Mr. Kennedy is right. It's, it's a wacky world where <laughs> you have a censorship hearing and then you try to censor and invite a guest from, from speaking. So uh, on Thursday, uh, members of the House of Representatives tried unsuccessfully to remove Robert F. Kennedy Jr. from a hearing on federal government censorship after claiming he was in viol violation of House rules aimed at preventing defamatory or degrading testimony. <laughs> So he was going to point the finger at him and say, oh, you can't do that. So that effort and others by Democrats to silence him at the hearing prompted Robert F. Kennedy Jr. to say, this is an attempt to censor a censorship hearing. And so Robert F. Kennedy Jr., who was running for president against President Biden, was invited by Republicans to testify at the hearing um, at the House Judiciary Subcommittee on the weaponization of federal government. But after his opening remarks, uh, one of the representatives moved to take the hearing into executive session to discuss uh, RFK Jr.'s alleged violation of a House rule aimed at banning testimony that defames or grades, degrades others. So <clears throat> this is from Benny Johnson. RFK Jr. gives his opening statement before the subcommittee on the weaponization of the federal government and gets a roaring applause. In other words, you know, the, the crowd was with them in what he had to say. And then they invented a new word. They had to invent a new word called malinformation. We've heard of misinformation, disinformation. Now it's malinformation um, to, to censor people like RFK Jr. The malinformation is information that is true, but is inconvenient to the government and they didn't want people to hear. So they tried to censor him during a hearing on censorship at which he was invited to attend. Now, th this is absurd, but we know Jesus is adamantly against hypocrisy. He railed against it all the time and the culprits that he railed against were always the elites. So it's kind of horrific that we've degraded to the point that a, a, a governmental group attempts to censor, censor someone on, at a hearing on, on censorship. And I, I, I actually kind of watched this in real time. And R.K. Jr. actually appealed to, to the government leaders on this committee uh, and government in general to stop with their back and forth where they vilify each other uh, intentionally uh, to, to never make any progress on real issues that consider that Americans consider important.